that was not even a snapshot as she was coming down the stairs in, in that was in Brooklyn in her studio and as ever stop stop right there and she you know she looked quite happy Louis Bourgeois I think was very interesting because she is a talking about life experience. I mean, this is a lady who has a long history and is not a young and emerging artist. I mean, you have in art history, this women artist, Louise Nevelson or Georgia O'Keeffe. So she's in that category. Why did she so attractive to this younger generation at that time in, in the eighties? No? So that is, of course, um, that point of life experience and having gone through so many things in life and uh, her personal tortured soul. For me, it was attractive because she reminded me so of my grandmother. She even looked like my grandmother and I told her that. So there was immediately a, a, a bond there on a, on a complete different level, it's nearly maybe so motherly son level kind of. I mean, she was a grandmother, of course, but so that was a very, an, an interview where, as with some artists, you, because of the chemistry, you get drawn in a conversation, which becomes very touching and personal. She was very personal, uh, what she talked about her childhood and how she grew up and she grew up in this family business i think it was a factory or something and she didn't say that but my feeling was that she had a trauma there and she always referred to sexual images in her dreams and she had a very strict father and all that so that of course translated later on in all her works to, to sum it up, uh, some conversations uh, preceding a photograph, they can be very technical or they can be very um, official for a magazine. But sometimes, because the chemistry is right, you, can, you are drawn yourself as an interviewer or photographer into the personal realm of that artist.